Hi, this is Tom again from Seaside Aquatics. Today, I'm gonna to talk a little bit over, um, explaining you the basic of the Eco 22 RDF. So, right in front of me is the Eco 22 unit itself with the controller and with a external cleaning pumps. So when you get the, the unit, you will notice that the unit itself will come with two of the four inch inlet, one of the four inch waste tray on the left hand side here and on the right hand side you will notice they have two four inches outlet uh, to turn back to your pond and you have two one inch here uh, this air this connect connection right here is for the external pump you, you um, connect to the external pump the external pump will pull the water out from this area and then pump it back into this area to go back into the spray bar to clean the, the tr uh, drums. So it also comes with an extra coupling here that you can use to connect, glue the uh, the booster pumps. Okay, so all you have to do is install the spray bar, it's really easy. Insert the one end of the spray bar onto the holes here and connect the uh, uh, union here. And these, uh, then just remove this, this ball wrap this, this to protect the uh, screen from getting damaged during shipping. So the unit itself is really basic. It comes with a, um, a uh, probe sensor here. And this is the difference between a Eco 22 and the Eco 20. The Eco 22 come with a three probe sensor. And the probe sensor, um, the long, the middle, and the shortest one. So when the water reach, the longest one and the middle one, the cleaner cycle will start. And when it reaches the last one, it will shut off everything to prevent overflow or to prevent issue to the RDF. So this sensor also can be um, can be uh, adjusted. You, all you gotta do is remove or loosen the two screw. You can move the sensor up and down to uh, to uh, set it at the level water of water that you need it for your pond. So when you set up the RDF, my recommendation to you is when you uh, level it, just level the pond water level to the level top of this waste tray. So the water in the pond is lined up with this waste tray. So when there's no running, the pond not running, the water will not overflow out to the waste tray. Um, the fittings are four inches US size. So you all can get this Foco at Home Depot or any department store, and you can connect them to the uh, fittings here. And um, you can have it reduced to two inch, one and a half, to whatever piping that you use in the uh, pond, okay? And then the unit also have a built-in outlet for pump fed. So you notice that on both sides of the unit here, you will notice that they have two outlet this outlets are for pump fed. So if you use it for gravity fed, then go ahead and just plug it up. You don't need this two outlet. You, you're gonna be using this two outlet um, for gravity fed. This, one, this two outlet for pump fed only. So right now, just plug them up, but you don't need it. Um, they, they come with the controllers, and the controller is really easy. Um, as everything is labeled, so you connect the motor, connect the cleaner pump, and connect the returner pumps and connect the sensor and then just turn, switch on and off. Um, the button here, if you need to, you can uh, um, uh, clean it manually. Um, you, you, hold, you press it down, you hold on to it, and the drum will clean until you release the button and it will stop cleaning. So uh, right here is like, say it's a basic unit for gravity fed. So if you have any questions, you all can contact us at seasideaquatics at yahoo.com or you can call us at 714 714-491-7181. Thank you for watching.